Right, I'm going to video going back the bumpy ground way. I've put the camera away. I might not always talk a lot. There's just one thing I want to say about world events. A couple of days ago, there was a massacre in Southport, Merseyside. Three little girls were stabbed by a 17 year old. There's been riots in Southport from people thinking, blaming the Muslim community for it. It's horrendous, apparently. And there's some children still got serious injuries. Right, watch down here, see, look, as it goes down very steep. Get onto that stone. So I'm on the Yorkshire Moors, the Yorkshire Dales. And earlier, a load of grouse came out, flew out of the bushes there. And I still wonder if this is grouse shooting. It's all out, look. I did think I saw a girl appearing on the top of the hill a minute ago. It's just a dodgy bit here. Hold on to the ferns, go. I think there's not quite a few dodgy holes. I'm going back. I'm just following the way back I came. It's a good job I've got trousers on, isn't it? But you can see the path. You can see I've actually cleared the way a bit. The heather's coming out. What you don't want is to break an ankle at this stage because you wouldn't be a driver or anything. I know. Well, I never got down there, but I reckon there's a path down there or around there that would take you there. I think you have to go down that, that way. This looks like a shooting range to me, but it might not be the season. There's no rush either, just take your time, because it is humpy bumpy. But you've left quite a track for somebody else now. Doing it twice, you've actually cleared, even though it's only slight. This is my ancestral home of my Buckton and Robinson family, and Bagley and Loon. I haven't investigated the loons much yet. It's not too bad actually. You can see where I've ploughed through. I've actually cleared the way quite well. See? Over there. practice for um, war. That was the other thing I wanted to mention. Israel have bombed Beirut. Um, not Hamas, another group, have killed several people and lots of children in Israel, in the northern area of Israel. So Israel retaliated and there's going to be a full-blown war out there I think with Iran. It looks like it's going to happen. Um, I think they're all fearing, oh look at that, I think they're all fearing if um, Trump gets in, because I think he's very much on the Israeli side, but there again he takes sides.
Right, but that's enough for all some people come in. Maybe they know a better route. Camera out. He never went right round there. Right, just met um, three people. Was it four? No, three. So they they were looking to go down there. I saw them. They reached the beacon there. But they seem to have disappeared again now. Unless they're coming back. Yeah, I think they're coming back. Yeah, I think they're coming back. I was going to go down. There is a path apparently down there that you can walk across, see? It takes you all the way to your... It'll take you all the way if you didn't want to come up here down there across our little safe path I don't mind going back the way I come um, basically it's in reverse isn't it oh they have found a way they have found a way look they seem to be moving well Do the marsh way if you want. God, they got there quickly, didn't they? It took me ages when I did it. I what I do, I wasn't coming here to go and look at a pile of stones. Though, uh, basically, I wanted to get on the hill, and I've done it. I've done it. You've done it, Sheila. Oh, they are making their way to it. Look. Ah, there was a way then. Hmm. I probably I just should have walked a bit further. ages ago, don't you? So it's a return trip and they've made it to the beacon.
So there it is. Pen Hill. We've done it. Stop, Sheila, stop. Right then, this is Sam um, Penn Hill. <sighs> I've been up there, been to the beacon, walked around it. Not all of it. I didn't walk around all of it. Now I'm making my way back. I tried to get to a... Oh, I did get to another type of beacon. I did get there. But um, I didn't get over. But I, I didn't realise... I, I thought you could probably walk on the track here, you know. I thought you could. I've got to try and remember how I got here now. So over there I've got to go. Over there's gate. <sighs> yeah, I remember that gully there. Yeah, it always looks different on the way down, doesn't it? Yeah, because you could have... I thought to myself then, there were lots of sheep here. I actually thought then I could... Um, could have walked that way. I'm just looking for the... where i got to go. It's funny how you can... You so easily forget your, where you are when you walk... When you walk in reverse... Right, it's like a completely different walk. But we'll know where we are because there's that steep climb up that people do. That people do. There's a steep climb up. We've got to go across a field there and a field there. And there's the car shining brightly. Hopefully. I'm videoing it, probably over a video and I don't know, but you know, I'm, it's, I don't know if I'll ever climb it again, it's one of those things, I'm getting older, I've achieved it, I've climbed it, I've done it, so I, when I come again I can do other things. Yeah, you thought about doing that before walking through the marshy bit, hadn't you? Yeah. I didn't. This is it, that's right. Yeah, I can't even remember this bit. It's not that long ago. It's 20 past 12 now. It'll be a nice afternoon by the time we get there. Say we don't get there for another to two o'clock, say, hour and a half. We don't, we're not rushing. That's a nice afternoon wander in the church, isn't it? Because I just met someone who comes from there. But she lives in Dorset now. Yeah, I reckon you could climb that. When I think about um, Draycott's lights, I used to climb up the hills like that. Yeah. But it was, we didn't know how hot it was going to be. There's a little bit of cloud cover and a breeze, which is really not as hot as yesterday, I don't think. Yeah, years ago I would have, well, not even years ago, in the right weather I'd just do that. Would you? Yeah.
It's fun. Excuse the noises. I've got, um, I had a cap of, of a fill in come out, and it's sometimes it's quite sensitive. And you know, if, if you've got a hole, I've got a, a bit of another tooth bit of filling fell out. It's a whole story about all this, caused by not being able to get to a dentist, by the way. I've always looked after my teeth in the past, massive delays. Then they went private and just, they didn't even let me know. And when I turned up for an appointment, they didn't honour it for NHS. So basically, I haven't got a dentist. So what's happening at the moment is, um, I'm just, they don't, they play up a bit. They play up a bit. But it's like a hole, your tongue, when you've got a hole in your tooth, your tongue automatically wants to go there. It's just one of those things. Where there was once a tooth, and the tooth's all broken off, the cap's all broken off and gone. And there's just like a... a space, more than anything, with a gold pin. That is left in from the cap. I had a platinum cap fitted about 40 years ago. And all that's left is this gold sort of area with a pin that is absolutely firmly set in the... In, I don't know if it's set in my jaw, I don't know. But I can feel that, but it doesn't hurt or anything. But you can feel it. You're aware that you've got something in your mouth. I suppose people who have braces must have that issue. So it's a bit misty today. We haven't got time for Bolton Castle. I don't. I find I can't do too much in one day. Um, today, my plan is to park in. West Whitton. Try and find some flowers. And then on the way back, stop at Wednesday again and put some flowers on the grave of my times five great grandparents. That's great, 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 great grandparents. And there's others in there what I will be related to, don't forget. But other villages around here that they come from. Um, a lot of them from Preston under Scar were actually buried at Wensley because Wensley was like the main cemetery for these smaller villages. They're only a couple of miles apart. So I noticed a lot of people were from Preston under Scar. I mean, the cemetery that's close by is a new one by that place. It's very new with newish graves. Right, here we go. This could be the gate my sister Jude stood at. Well, I'm going to turn off. One more picture here. I'm going to turn off for a little while. Yeah, I took a picture. I might zoom in again, just if I can get Holy Trinity and a bit more again. Wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I've got, I think that was a better picture. I thought he was going back down another way. Obviously he's got the car here. Nothing, don't you? No, I don't want anything. Right, turn off the 